Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a high-end haul for you guys. I've bought things from Beauty Bay, Debenhams and Cult Beauty. Um, I will have a separate drugstore haul on my channel soon after this video because um, I've bought quite a lot of drugstore makeup too. Hopefully it's not too long but I love filming hauls. If you want to see this look, I did a full face of first impressions using some of the products in this haul. Um, so it's like a full face of high end makeup basically. So I'll put that in the eye up here. So keep on watching if you want to see what I bought. Okay, so first I'll start with Beauty Bay. I love Beauty Bay, it's amazing. I bought all these things when they had 50% off the entire the entire site so it was amazing so I've been collecting all this stuff for quite a while now so I haven't just bought it all in bulk but I did buy the Beauty Bay order in one and then I bought a few like affordable drugstore things on there as well so but that's another video so I'll start off with the Jar Cosmetics Slay All Day setting spray so I already have one of these I have it in the scent peach but this is the scent mango which I really wanted to get because I love mangoes and it's just a lighter orange shade and then the peach one's more of a orange or peach but this smells really nice the only downside to this is got alcohol in it it's the second ingredient so I only use this when I want my makeup to stay on like all night like on a special occasion like if I'm going clubbing or something I'll wear it for that so yeah that was this I will link everything down below from where I got it and then prices and stuff like that so you know where to get it and I'm not gonna go too in depth with what I'm saying because otherwise this video will be like two hours long okay so I bought four liquid lipsticks on Beauty Bay because I really wanted to try each brand. I got one from Dose of Colours, it's the Desert Suede Liquid Matte Lipstick which I have on my lips right now. It just looks like this, I absolutely love the packaging. It is stunning. I love the frosted glass, if I came out with my own liquid lipstick this is exactly what I would do, the frosted glass. So the shade is a cool toned brown, which I absolutely love. The Dofa applicator is really nice to apply as well. It has kind of like a dip in the Dofa applicator, so it like fits onto your lip really nicely. So I'll do a swatch of this. It's really creamy and when it goes matte like it is now, it's not sticky or it's not drying. It's really creamy. As you can see when I move my lips, that is the shade there. Obviously you can see it on my lips now. So it does go more of a greyish purpley brown when it dries down, which I really like. So that's that. So the next one is from Ofra. This is the shade Bel A. And, oh jeez. And again, everyone raves about the this shade. Apparently, these are these smell quite nice. My s smell right now is not very good. As you can tell, I'm quite ill. Please do excuse that. But this one just has a normal doe foot applicator on it. This is more of a pinky, peachy nude. That's it there. As you can tell, it's much more peachy nude than this one. I can't say a lot about this because obviously I haven't tried it yet. So I will probably be trying it in a video sometime soon. So stay, make sure you subscribe to that um, so you stay tuned for when I do that. So the next two are from Jeffree Star. I know there's been a lot of negativity from Jeffree Star but I don't care. Well, I care, but I don't care who it's from, if you get what I mean. If the product's good, then it's good, do you know what I mean? Um, I got two shades. I got Mannequin and Posh Spice. 
So first I'll get the mannequin out. I love the packaging. I'm not a fan of pink. Really not a fan of pink, but I think it's cute. It is really cute. As you can see, mannequins are like a nude shade. I was going to get I'm nude, but it was more of a nude, like skin colour nude. And I wasn't really up for that. So that's it there. As you can see, it's a little bit darker than Bell Air from Ofra. So I'm glad that there are three different colours. So then I got Posh Spice, which is a cool toned brown, which I am so excited for. The smell of these is meant to be um, ginger beer, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But I'm not really a fan. I'll swatch this. Yeah, I love this shade. I don't know why, but I love cool toned lips. Um, yeah, I don't know why. But that's it there. But as you can see, it's more of a brown than the Dose of Colour Desert Suede one, which I love. I think, I think it's really nice. So that is the liquid lipstick. So the last thing from Beauty Bay is the, from Jeffree Star again, it's the Skin Frost. This is huge. I did a comparison on when I was doing this makeup because I got it on right now. This has 15 grams in and the, I will show you. This is the Maybe Luminizer from the Balm. Look at the difference. There's a hell of a difference. The Jeffree Star has 15 grams and the Mary Luminizer has 8.5, so that is a massive difference. I don't know whether the packaging involves that or it's just the product, I'm not sure, but there is a massive difference, which is great because this is expensive. Okay, so when I first got this, I was nervous that it was going to be a white shade, which I wasn't looking forward to as it's called ice cold I thought it was going to be like a really bright white because I've heard loads of people talking about this and it's like really white but it to me it looks more like a really pale champagne shade which I love uh, if you don't like chunky highlights then you are not gonna like this um, I'll do a swatch. So that's what it looks like there. It is really pale, but it's nice for pale skin tones like I have right now. I have no fake tan on whatsoever. But as you can see, it's just a nice highlight. I will only be wearing this on special occasions because it is a chunky highlight. I will wear this for like clubbing and stuff like that. So that's Beauty B. Next I'll do Cult Beauty. Now I only got a few things from Cult Beauty. They had a sale on at the time. I think it was a student discount. I'm not entirely sure. Or I had an email of like 15% off or 20% off. So I took advantage. So the first thing I got is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream in the shade Buff. This is like a yellow toned colour. This is like a yellow, yellowy shade. Looks like this. It's got a pump, which is nice. Um, I have this on right now. So if you want to see how it works, how it applies, then go check out the video. The first one, full face, first impressions. And yeah, this was, it was, I applied it with a damp sponge, um, the Real Techniques sponge, and it actually applied really nicely. And, but it is a thicker consistency, so bear that in mind. Next, I got the Fasali uh, Rose Gold Elixir 24K Gold Infused Beauty Oil. I only got the travel size, which is 15 mils. Um, the 50 mils is like 50 pounds, but I, I swear this was 30 pounds anyway, but obviously I had a discount. And I only wanted to get the travel size because I wanted to see if I actually liked it first. And I can say I love it. I've used it a few times, uh, mixing in with my foundation, and it is amazing. It smells amazing. It's just a dropper. 
Ah, oh, smells lush. It has rose gold flakes in it, obviously. And yeah, it's really good. It's definitely worth the money. I would buy the full size. Okay, so next, boring, but I got a new beauty blender. I just got the pink one. Yeah, I love these for applying my foundation and cream stuff. Amazing. Okay, so next I got the another liquid lipstick. The Jouer, Jouer, Jouer? What the hell was that? The Jouer Longwear Lip Cream Liquid Lipstick in the shade Novest. Novist Nosette. I'm not really sure. I'll link it down below, obviously, of course. Just looks like this. I didn't know that you can get um, more of them and you can clip them together or something. I did not know that. But it's really sleek. It's actually quite small though. So again, this is like a brownie shade. This is swatch of B. It's more of like a nude brown though, which I like. So I'm looking forward to wearing that. And then the last thing I got from Cult Beauty is this kit. It's the Buxom Plump Gone Wild three piece mini lip collection. It's got the best selling mini full on lip polish in Sandy. Mini big and sexy bold gel lipstick in nude exposure which is a satin and then it has the mini full-on lip cream in blushing magenta so it comes like this this is the mini full-on lip cream in blushing magenta so it's just a lip cream it's not i think it's meant to be i think it's meant to be a gloss i'll swatch them all and then i'll Come back. Okay, so that is the full on lip cream in blushing magenta, and then that is the mini full on lip polish in sandy, and then that is the big and sexy bold gel lipstick in nude exposure. So there's two like glosses and then a lipstick. So I'm excited to use these. I will let you know in an upcoming video what I think about that. Okay, so next I got shitloads from Debenhams because I had, for one, I had a gift card from my mum for my from my birthday. Um, I had a few gift cards for Debenhams, so I took advantage on that. And then they had a 20%, 10%, 15% on like certain items at the time, so I took full advantage and grabbed a few things so the first two things I got I got two samples if I can get them okay so first I got the Tarte Tartist uh, lip wardrobe volume 2 kit I'm not going to swatch these because I don't know they're just a sample and then I got the sample of the Too Faced shadow insurance that's the samples then I got two primers from Makeup Forever, step one primers. I got the mattifying primer and the smoothing primer. I just got the travel size, which is 15 mil of each because I wanted to try out these ones, but they're like 20 something pounds for like the full size of each. And I believe these were only like 10 pound. So I got these. This is the smoothing primer. And then this is the mattifying. So I used the smoothing one in the full face of first impressions. And I did like it. It's like the Benefit Professional, which I love. Um, but I'm yet to try this out. Next, I got the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Again, I tried this out in the full face first impressions which I love because my skin at the moment has gone a little bit dry because of the weather and this is really hydrating and nourishing and it comes with a pump and it smells like coconuts it's amazing okay so next I got the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base so this is quite 
an expensive purchase for me but obviously I had discount and money off so I took full advantage and bought it. It's got shea butter, vitamins E and C in there. It's 50 mils. I'll take it out of the packaging. I've already opened this and smelt it because it smells amazing. It smells like citrus, like lemon. Um, but yeah, I haven't used this yet, but I'm excited to use it as like a moisturiser primer in one because that's what people do because it's great for primer. Next, I got a few Too Faced, more Too Faced things. I got first the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. It's a loose powder, translucent powder. Just looks like this and you obviously just have the opening by here. Again, I used it in this video uh, on my face. So go check that out if you want to see how that applied. Okay, so next I got the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. Again, I used it in the full face video, but it was really nice to apply and it's such a nice shade for pale skin tones. Sorry if it seems like I'm rushing, but my battery is going to die and I need to get through this. Okay, so next is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cool Girl. So it looks like this in the packaging. And this is what the actual packaging looks like. It's the one way round. Again, this is like a cool toned brown shade. I like my cool tones, if you haven't noticed, on my lips. So that is that one down there. It's quite a more of a browny nude cool tone, as it's called, cool girl. Next, I got a lip liner from Kat Von D. It's the Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade Bow and Arrow. I have the liquid lipstick for this, so I wanted to get the matching lip liner. I used this in the Full Face to First Impressions, and it is really creamy and easy to apply on the lips, which is great. I've just done it next to that. It matches quite well with the Cool Girl. <laughs> but yeah, that is that. It was really creamy. Next I have the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick, which again I used in the video for Face to Face Impressions. It just looks like this. And I can say I absolutely loved this. It blended out really well and really quick. It's just a creamy version of the powder hula bronzer, which I love that powder bronzer. It's really nice. I really want to get the light hula bronzer because that looks amazing. Okay, so I only have two things left and they are setting sprays. I forgot to put my earrings back in. Oh well. The first one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. It's oil free, paraben free temperature control technology. Um, I've only had the travel size version and I've used up two of them I believe so I thought it was now time to get the big size so it just looks like this. I absolutely love this setting spray. It's a go-to for me on special occasions and stuff like that because it is expensive. I only use it on special occasions not for like every day because I don't want to run out on it but yeah got that. And then the last but not least I got the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. I used this in the Full Face First Impressions and I did like it. The mist is a bit funny. Um, it is a nice mist but I felt like it was going away from my face even though it was facing towards me. Um, the smell of this is really nice. I feel like it's gone down quite a lot though even though I've used it once. Um, but yeah, this was really nice. Go check it out if you want to see what happened. So that is the end of my haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more hauls from me, then make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you stay tuned for 
more of my videos. I love you to the moon about guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.